Thanks, Brandy. We're out front and want you to meet Brad Herzog. Brad is the leader of the family that's going on quite a summer adventure, and he is in a Winnebago concept RV, which we'll tell you about in a moment. But first of all, Brad, this is something that you've done for a number of years, and it's quite an adventure every year for your family. Yeah, this is the tenth summer in a row that I've taken my wife Amy and our two little boys out on the road. They were really little the first few years we did yeah. in utero, and uh, we we pick a different section of the country every summer. We drive around in an RV and, and, and celebrate each other, celebrate the open road. It's, it's just a great, it's education disguised as entertainment for my There family. you go. And this is something you write about for the benefit of everybody who uh, who wants to experience the same adventure, right? Yeah, well, I'm an author. I write children's books and I write travel memoirs for adults. So traveling with my children is sort of the perfect quote-unquote research. Uh, mm -hmm. But I also write a blog, a, a travel journal for GoRVing.com, which is a great uh, resource for anyone who wants to know anything about the RV industry and, and what, what kind of RVs are out there, where to go. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's it's my it's our house on wheels every summer, but it's also my office on wheels. Well, we're going to look at your house and your office here in just a second, but first of all, if you would, tell us what's unique about this particular concept RV from the standpoint of everybody going green. Well, it's it's a unique, it's a one of the industry first uh, hybrid, it's a Winnebago Adventurer hybrid uh, concept RV. Uh, Winnebago's always been at the forefront of, of innovation, and the yeah. RV industry in general is really, in the recent years, has been innovating many different things to go green. Uh, there's lightweight towable vehicles that they're designing, and motorhomes that get better gas mileage, and you can buy solar power and wind power kits to adapt to your RV. Is there solar on this? There is not solar on this, but it is a hybrid RV, and what's unique about it is uh, there's a diesel engine and there's an electric motor. One run by a huge lithium battery, mm -hmm. and they work in conjunction to optimally power the vehicle depending on the driving conditions. So you're, so you're going to save a lot of money as far as energy efficiency and that sort of thing? We, we've discovered that we're saving a lot of money on gas this year. They don't yeah. know exactly how, what the savings is in gas mileage. It's still very early in the testing on that, but uh, but we do feel like we're saving yeah. a lot. And also, we, we're, we're giving out fewer emissions at the same yeah, time, sure. so it's better for the environment. So right. that's great. We're going to take a little tour here. Robert, if you would, just come on down through here because we'll, we'll begin. First of all, this is a very well-planned out uh, little adventure you have here. This is the map on the refrigerator, right? And, we're, and this is this will tell you wherever you're supposed to go. We see you're in Nashville, of course, on the 2nd of July, and you end up in Chicago in August, okay? That's right. We're starting and ending in Chicago, pretty much. We're doing 50 days throughout the southeast. We're going mm -hmm. From here, we're going through the whole route of the Natchez Trace Parkway, which I, which I think is gorgeous. That's pretty cool. All right, and uh, on back through here are the living quarters. Something in an RV that you said is kind of unusual, the bunk beds here? Yeah, this is the first year we've had bunk beds, uh, which is great. The kids are really finally old enough to, to use them, and it's, it's you know, they these, uh, again, the innovations of the RV industry, they use every inch of space imaginable, mm -hmm. and uh, you can. There's an option on many uh, uh, layouts to, to turn that into yeah. a wardrobe instead. But we, we think the bunk beds are great, and we have a king size bed in the rear bedroom right. that uh, that Amy and I sleep in. It's it's a lot. It's very comfortable. You know, we know a lot of country music stars. As a matter of fact, we have a couple of them coming up here shortly. Ricky Skaggs, Steve Warner. I bet your quarter of these guys would love this. I know. And Steve Warner came in a moment ago and came by here. Man, I'm, Karen and I are thinking about one of these. It looks great. They you know? could go. They could go with us. They could be our own version of satellite radio anytime. And we ask them to play, they'll just uh, they'll do it. There you go. Well, as we mentioned, the whole family is here. And uh, if you don't mind, as we uh, get the camera back into the kitchen area here, uh, we'll say hello to the rest of the family. I'm seated next to uh, Jesse. Hello, Jess. Hi. Nice to see you, bud. Okay. And over here we have Luke. And uh, Luke, at eight years old, can you tell me the best thing about this adventure so far? I think everything is the best, basically. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Any one big thing that stands out? Well, that's the problem, because all of them is a big thing. Is he politically correct or what? <laughs> Amy, you spent an adventure with the kids on the road every year for the last 10 years. How grueling is that? Well, I'll tell you, I can't imagine traveling any other way with kids. I mean, going from hotel to hotel or, you know, trying to fly with them all the time, which we've done, is not nearly as pleasant as, you know, this experience where we have the comforts of home. And, mm -hmm. you know, here they're, they're not even interrupting their breakfast schedule for TV. Yeah. They can eat breakfast when they want. We've got all their favorite food. And, you know, it's just a much better way to travel with kids. That's great. Well, this is, I know, is a wonderful adventure for the whole family. And it just kind of brings you closer together. That's what our RVing is all about. I know you're going to be writing about it, but what's what's Winnebago hoping to get from you as far as this adventure that's going to last 60 days during the summer? Well, you know, it's a it's a concept RV, so it's sort of a test RV, testing the viability of, of a hybrid RV. And one thing that we've noticed as we've traveled around, not only the interest from from people like you, but also as we go to the campgrounds. Mm -hmm. uh, Every, people are staring and pointing and asking a lot of questions. RVers in general are very curious about other RVs. They're kind of gearheads in that way. Yeah. Uh, but uh, people are really 
interested and they see the word hybrid on the side and they, they wonder what is that all about and they ask all about it and so I think you know people are always interested in the latest innovation and, and the RV industry is really really great about uh, keeping up with the times and, and they're riding the green wave just like everyone else. That's wonderful. I wish you guys the best. I hope you have a wonderful adventure. Thanks for letting us uh, share a little bit of breakfast time with you here. Is that alright guys? Yeah, okay. <laughs> you guys got some things to do. Uh, the Herzog's here and the Winnebago Concept RV. And by